Well, it looks like the wintery weather will be continuing across the area through the weekend. So if I take a look at our watches, warnings, and advisories, we did have a lot of uh, winter weather advisories to much of western Wyoming, especially southwestern Wyoming. And they also continue to affect across portions of the Bighorn Basin, Cody Foothills, and the Wind River Basin as well. You want to start dead times, go right there, weather.gov slash REW, a lot of different ones here. So as we look at the impacts, snow showers will continue through the day today. They will become less numerous through the day. It looks like that first piece of energy will be moving out. And as a result, road conditions slick this morning, but with that strong March sun working on them, they should improve through the day, especially in the afternoon hours. However, another piece of energy will be coming in uh, tonight. Snow showers become more numerous again, especially after midnight. Now this time, the focus will shift from areas east of the divide to west of the divide, especially southwestern areas. So that's where we expect the highest amounts. However, just about everybody will have a chance of seeing some snow out of this. And on Sunday, snow showers will continue. Most numerous in the morning, then a gradual taper down as we head through the day. And especially at night, with just about all the snow ending as we head towards sunrise on Monday. Most places by Monday should have a dry, but a rather cold day. Now I want to show you some probabilistic stuff. Now this goes from uh, about noon today to about midnight on Sunday night. Expect at least this much snow, a 90% chance of seeing this. Many areas east of the divide, not seeing a ton of accumulation after that. Here from a Cody to an inch, a little bit higher amounts here across the mountains, obviously. You see where the core is, it shifts to the southwest places like Pinedale, Jackson, Afton, down toward Kemmerer. Expect at least two to four inches here. Lander, four inches, that might be a little bit high. I don't know if they'll get to see that much there. Maybe one to two additional inches around Dubois. Now, possible maximum amount, 10% chance of seeing this much. You see the obvious area, the area in uh, orange and yellow, anywhere from about five to nine inches. Nine inches might be pushed to get in camera. I don't think they see that much, but it could be five to six inches, possibly across the west. Then lesser amounts as you head further to the east, maybe up to four inches around uh, Riverton, three inches around uh, Casper. But gradually lesser amounts as you head further to the north. And on the I-80 corridor, I know a lot of you taking that road. Maximum amount, probably anywhere from two to four inches. And this is the expected snowfall, the most likely amount. Take it with a grain of salt, obviously. This, again, this goes through Sunday evening, about two to three inches around Riverton, higher amounts as you head toward the Lander foothills. Core of the snow, obviously, over here across uh, southwestern Wyoming, anywhere from four to six inches, the most likely amount across the lower elevations. Maybe locally up to a foot across the mountains, obviously. One to three inches across I-80. Not quite as much further to the east, only about an inch or two around uh, Casper. And the least amounts further north you go, including Buffalo, Grapel, as well as Cody and on to the north. And here's our resources for weather. You know where to go, weather.gov slash R-A-W. You want road conditions? Again, don't call us for road conditions. Call these people. You get it right from the source, which is YDOT. On the web, wildroad.info. You want to call them on the phone. In-state, 511. Out-of-state, 188 Wild Road. Now, for webcams, you want to take a look for yourself. Now, this covers the whole state, not just our area. Go to our website, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Go to local programs, then click on our webcams by route tab. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your weekend.